Hello. Welcome to our stream on Fridays. Today with Moritz. Yes. Long time no see. <laughs> yes. And we have some uh, nice Swift things today. Yeah. We will take a look how to create command line tools with Swift. Yes. Something I think we have not covered so far. So uh, we start yeah, be, yeah. with the basics. The yes. Basic. We start with the basics. How, okay. how to set them, them up. So I guess you jump right into we it. We jump right in, yes. Right into it. So uh, command line. I can, yeah. Thank let's you. Let's see. Gets better. Oh, okay. what is this nice tool that you're using? Yeah. Uh, this is warp, a uh, new command line uh, a terminal replacement for item two or the terminal, and it's uh, actually pretty nice. Okay, so we are going to start. Yay, where's my espresso subscribe? <laughs> Thank you. We're going to start by um, creating our Swift package uh, first. And of course, use the uh, uh, Swift command line tools, Swift package init type executable. We're just going to do this. And it will create basically all we need. What is a bit fast. Package init ah, executable. OK. Yeah. yeah. You don't need this if you know what you uh, have to type in, but this basically helps already. You can already pro provide a name if you want to have it in a subfolder, but this is fine. And now we're just going to open package.swift. And of course, it's on the wrong monitor. OK, so how big should I do this? Probably. OK. Simple tour. All right, now everyone can see it. OK, so the name of in the package, the name of my tool is a command line tool. It has only one target, and it's an executable one. So I can just remove all this, because I don't need it. Um, the path for it is source. So you can see here, source, and there's the main. And this will basically just print hello world. So, so you I don't can... need any function or so to, to start with? This is a basic, basic, basic. Yeah, so usually you have like some entry point function or something. Yeah. So this would be more uh, equivalent of uh, having like a bash script and doing the Swift uh, stuff on top and telling it not to use uh, bash, but use Swift. And then you can also uh, say, OK, import foundation and do all kinds of uh, interesting stuff. But right now, um, the main problem here is that, um, oh wait, we can, of course, do, let me see. Uh, I think you can do the, oh no, I think I don't need the, the at main, but I can do, I think it's supposed to be static. Okay, that, that was the function I, thought you always need, but turns out you don't. Uh, let's see, but I think expected declaration, yeah. Maybe is it static func? Oh. <laughs> Keyword static cannot be, OK, never yeah. mind. No, no, now you have func static func. So. Func static, oh, you're kidding me. How, uh, yeah, it's Friday. No problem. OK, let's see. Static method Doesn't may only be declared on a type. Yeah, so just func. Just func. If it's if you have this context and you, you do func it's static by default, then I guess. Yeah, so let's see. Clear it, run it, finished, but it didn't run anything. So now I can say main. OK. And now it's running mm -hmm. something. Uh, yeah. So, but what we actually want to do is, um, uh, let me see, I have to cheat a little bit. What? Yeah. So let's coin using app here, because if I call it main. Super small, but yeah. Ooh. Yeah, there's not much uh, to change. Yeah, there's not, yeah, OK. You can make it maybe a tiny bit bigger, but we had this also in, in last stream. OK, so I only changed the name from main to app because the command line tool will always start at main. Just as it was before, you always uh, need a main function somewhere. 
uh, normally on an iOS project, you will never, or before that in Objective-C, you will probably never have to use it, but it's still there. And now we have some fancy stuff with add main and all the stuff. So we can, of course, use that. Okay. And um, let's see, let's call it a struct. It's supposed to be an app. And there will be, uh, I think, uh, maybe I don't need it. Static func main. Why are you using the, the, the abstract container around it? Just that you have something. Um, because with. of this, let's okay. see. So it builds, it runs. Okay, perfect. So now it looks at the um, struct so or now, class that is at main and calls the main function inside. Yeah. So app. now it still looks for main, but there's no main file. So now it looks for at main. Okay, and then inside there the, yeah. the main function. Problem I had for a long time is main is the the standard name for it. If I rename the file main, it will complain about yeah, there's a main attribute cannot be used in a module that contains top level code. Yeah, so it's some, some name convention. So yeah, it considers the the content of the main, the file main.swift as inside this main function. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of implicit logic that it's yeah. not clear to you. And of course, the uh, uh, error doesn't really help you in solving the problem because if you look for this, then you will find all kinds of other stuff, but not. Not this. So, okay. Either way, uh, you can use the main.swift file or you use add main. And of then course, you can also name the file anything you want. Then you have to name the file anything you want. You, you're not, not main. main yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So uh, we can, of course, have uh, loops in here. Um, like all the Swift stuff, right? Or all is there the Swift anything stuff, that's yeah. not supported? Um, well, everything that's in foundation, you can use in here. So basically, yeah, clean no, slate. No UI kit. No UI kit. <laughs> and I am pretty sure no app kit as well. Yeah. Or Swift UI at least. So this is basically terminal stuff. Yeah. You will do, um, yeah. Okay. So this would be the basic, basic, basic app you can, you can have. Yeah. Just how, this how, how would you call it in the terminal? Um, because usually good question. Do, do not. Uh... So let's jump to the terminal. Let's say Swift build. Uh, don't need this what? part. I think I only need the release part. Let's build the app. Shouldn't be that long. Is the, yeah. Done. And now well, that, that it does nothing, it was quite long. <laughs> <Five seconds. laughs> um, release and there should be the program. So now I can call command. Why? Right. Oh, so there's a command line tool. Yeah. Command line tool. And that's why you, because you called uh, the program that way, right? Right, yeah. Found. Um, it's supposed to do this. Okay, like this. But where's course, the hello world? I feel uh, removed it. Oh. <laughs> okay, print. Is, is there also a way that you could run it without compiling it first? Uh, yeah, like of course, you can script? use the Swift, uh, oh, like a shell script, no. I've seen that before, but. Uh, yeah, so you can use Swift in a, sh in a, in a uh, shell script. You just have to define that you won't use shell, but you want you to use Swift. Um, yeah, so let me do this one before. Um, let's see, CD, where do we have to go? That, uh, 
that. Nope. One too many. And so now I can build it again. And then I want to CD in build release. No, you're already one. putting all the commands you want to do in one. Yes. Box. So I don't have to do it again. Command line two. I will execute maybe, it. Maybe instead of CDing in it, you could use the path. Uh, so you're always in the same folder. Probably. And don't have to Let's do this and yeah, that should be it. So building it and then running it. Yeah. Let's go. Hello, work on this. Woo. Nice. Yeah. So, um, uh, I've done this once before, but I'm not sure. So let's see if I can find, um, Using Swift in script file. Slight echo in the sound, but why? It shouldn't be. Maybe I have to be closer to the microphone. Is it better now? And who has the echo? Me or Moritz or both? Only me. User bins and Swift inbound. Ooh, interesting. Maybe is it now better? No. Strange. Okay, maybe while Moritz is checking that, let's see. I talk very quiet. Do we also have Maybe the echo now? is because I talk and it comes back to your microphone. Yeah, but it's both, both directions. I have a weird sound. Thank, Thank you. That <laughs> <laughs> in, in chat. <laughs> you talk funny. Uh, supposed to be Swift in here. Okay, so it's it's my voice. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, um, I don't know. I don't think there are any, are any filters on the no. mic. Okay. Only noise suppression. Don't know. Okay, so um, what Jonas just said is with script. Let's do it like this. Actually, not sure. I think I need to do it in SH and then start with this part. Um, that way I can import foundation and then basically do print hello from hello Arcondas. This is a script. Yeah, then you're using Swift in a shell script, basically. Yeah. Um, I think what I remembered, okay, let's try this first. Ah, it's not executable. Um, oh, look at this. <laughs> Booyah. Yeah. Um, can you also try to do just Swift without build? Oh and, yeah, sure. And then okay, do the... so let's do Swift run. No, no, I don't think you need even run. Just the file name now. Um, what, what do you mean? There's a app. Yeah. File name. Okay. Just with, even without the dot, I think just do. Uh, source. I I think it's not in this. Folder, that's the problem. Source. Yeah, just that doesn't mean matter. Like this? Yeah. Probably. 
not so sure. Yeah, it's not the correct path. Maybe it's somewhere else. No, it's yeah. Sources. Sources. <laughs> Yeah, now yeah. it has problems because it. <laughs> I think for this fancy admin stuff, you need to yeah. uh, compile it compile so it, it yeah. adds the required stuff to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but we want to go almost as high level as an app, so we, we want to have this stuff. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so this would be first part. Okay, so we. Created a simple Swift package with an executable target, and we can just start the app by running it or compiling it and then using the file name to run the app, and you will be in here. Okay, and yes. Yeah. That's, that's a good first step to, to set everything up. Yes, it is. And 